Guys, do you believe it's from God? So good. seem intimidating. <laughs> uh, uh, and there, there, a mess. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Oh, that was wonderful. That was the worst. Oh, oh, oh man. Gosh. Honestly, Chosen, become a Grafted Ambassador to partner with us so we can take people deeper into God, the Bible, and why Israel matters. Yeah, click on the link in the description below to become a Grafted Ambassador. This is one of my favorite uh, scenes in all of the Chosen. This is good. I mean, it's... <laughs> they did... The, it was... So <laughs> Oh, they're, they're going back and forth yeah, right. between the humor uh -huh. and the seriousness. Yeah. I mean, I just this is like written so well. Uh -huh. And you're right there. It's like everybody can relate to this scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you not being worthy? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's none found worthy. No, not even mm -hmm. one. Yep. Yep. And they're yep. like, yeah, come on in. The water's fine. You know? <laughs> I mean, mm. wow, there's no borders. I love how he yeah. said that too. Yeah, and I love I love that, you know, there's, there's a couple different tellings of this story, right? And in one telling, I think he says, just say the word. Right. Just say, the, the servants come say. to him and just say the word and he realizes that at that hour, that's when mm. his, his, the, 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 the little one was healed, right? right? And it's like, I'm not, I'm not worthy of you to come into my home you know, right. but but I cause, and I under I get authority, right? Mm -hmm. I've got people under me, and they go and they do just so just say the word mm -hmm. because faith is beautiful, right? And yeah. and I, I yeah I love this interchange of <laughs> worthiness and mm -hmm. and repentant heart brokenness mm -hmm. and 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 also this outsider mm -hmm. like there's this there's this Jew Gentile so fun reality happening yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. That they're even saying like no, I, that, that those things don't matter to him. Uh -huh. Like, like they're kind of like understanding the essence of oh, okay, just Genesis twelve reality that mm -hmm. I will cause you to be a blessing to all the families of the earth, wow. right? And so mm -hmm. there's this coming together of the family of God right. under Yeshua. Yeah, it's like you're seeing it's like play out here so much so that Matthew's like, they're there, they're there. <laughs> <laughs> That was so good. And but the thing is, I'm not making fun of him. It's more like he meant that with every part of him. You know, like he he's trying his best oh to like be there in the moment. And oh that reminds, it's back to even grief and suffering right. and pain and all of that where it's like you don't have to have the words and even if you have the wrong words, right. it's actually okay. Right. That's... I mean, so many people said really not helpful things <laughs> right but it's like you could see i could tell they meant well right they were just trying to be there just trying they're there they're, so, they're there you know I, what does uh, that even mean <laughs> it's i love it i love it i remember even in in after your boys passed away you telling me stories about how you know when somebody would come to you and they would say i'm, I'm so sorry for your loss you would think i forgive you <laughs> <laughs> It was, it's like, I feel like the English language... It doesn't work, right? There aren't like, good words in the English language for what to say, you know. Like the, yeah, and what they're trying to express yeah. is like, I, 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 this, this is so horrible, like, right. I'm so sorry, but it's... Right. Are they asking for forgiveness? Yeah. Yeah. It's like the word sorry it doesn't, doesn't communicate. quite communicate. Right. It's kind of like love. It's like, I love pizza. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and like, I love you. It's like we use the Wait. same word in these different contexts. And so it, yeah. you know, Hebrew, I feel like has some better words in these moments. But, right, right. Uh, even, but. And even, I remember even you saying like, sometimes you'll use the word, my deepest condolences. Right. But 
Some people don't even know what that means. Well, and even you know. condolences, it's I feel like it's too formal. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. You could say it like in a letter or yeah. something, but if you say it in person, it's kind of like, like, really? Are you from 1806? You... <laughs> exactly. It's like, so I feel like we need to come up with some, better, some better language, language on how to communicate it. And I wasn't mocking I people. Know, it was I just know. more of no, it was, like... It, it was also a way to process, right. you know. It's back to joy and yeah. uh, grief happening at the same time where I, I wanted to I don't think you ever say, actually said it to No, you. I did. Maybe to you. Maybe to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> Sorry. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> The best Peter Gaius. Lord. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Love that one. My uh, servant boy is lying paralyzed at home. He has been sick for so long and now he is suffering terribly. Near death. Take me to him. Lord, you call him Lord? I am not worthy to have you come into my home. And I know you would not be comfortable as a Jew in a Roman's home. But you only need to say the word and he will be healed. I'm not worthy. The truth about the child, he's actually my son. I am so ashamed I shouldn't even be asking you, but I am, and I know you can do it. Master, I never thought I'd say this, but he is worthy to have you do this for him. He loves our people, he has helped us. I know. Oh, man. That is too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <sighs> Just the master and going down on his knees. Oh, man. It's like, and, you know, it's all about authority here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's saying, you have the authority. You you say it. You speak it. You command it. Yeah. And, wow. I just I just think the... Yeah, the, the authority shift that's mm -hmm. happening, right? Like, his allegiance shift that's happening. Like, mm -hmm. you are my Lord. Mm -hmm. You are my King. Right. Like, I, I, him falling on his knees right there, oh my mm -hmm. gosh, that's like, yeah, it's perfect. It is. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't know what a Messiah is. Mm -mm. Right? No. He doesn't under, understand this anointed kingly figure of Israel. I don't... I, Mm. I don't know that he's getting all of that, mm -hmm. right? right? I don't know that he would understand that that they're saying he's the king. Mm. But he is, but master, lord, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, he'll he'll get all that eventually, oh, yeah. but it's like, I get it. You're the authority over me. Mm -hmm. And maybe he's singing in kingly terms, but if, right, if, if right. nothing else, it's just this submission, submission yeah. to who Humility. he is, right? Yeah, he's humbling himself, right. and that's that's yeah. the be one of the beautiful parts of this story is the humility mm -hmm. of a Roman centurion mm -hmm. coming in and saying, "Right, I need your help." And then Peter's like, "He's worthy, right? He and he's he's worthy because mm -hmm. this is his heart posture, mm -hmm. you know." Right. And he says that he loves our people, mm -hmm. right? I mean, right. so that he just he just said it all. It's like. He's loving God and he's mm. loving others. Right, right. And he's loving the Jew first. He's loving. Yeah. That's the hard one here for, mm. you know, a Roman mm. soldier. Right. And, and it's like we see this story repeated similarly in, in like uh, Acts 10 with Cornelius, right? right? He's mm. like, you know, he's, he's a righteous man. Exactly. He loves the Jewish people and he has, you know, he gives gives gifts, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, like, there's there's similarities here. Mm -hmm. And he, Peter goes to his home and, and right. preaches the gospel and they all get saved. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do not 
Trouble yourself. You can heal him from a distance with only a word of command. I also have authority with men under me. If I say to one, go, he goes. If I say to another, come, he comes. Anything you command in this world will happen. I know it. Even this. Stand up. What? Rise. Did you all hear this man? Truly, I tell you, with no one in Israel have I found such faith. I was rejected in my own hometown, and I'm threatened by the religious leaders of my own people, and yet, and yet this man, a Gentile, has more bold confidence in what he believes that I can do than anyone I have yet encountered. It is a striking contrast. I mean, because the whole critique of the religious Jewish leadership is that they don't want to have their hands off their power and authority mm. and privilege. Wow, yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's what he's laying down here and saying yeah. it's because he very well could lose his yeah, oh, authority yeah. and privilege mm -hmm. and wealth. I mean, he's he's saying he he doesn't care. Right. I mean, that's the that's why the contrast is so yeah striking. I think I think that's part of what makes this story so powerful right. when you understand the context a little more yeah. of of Roman centurion mm -hmm. giving his allegiance. To, mm -hmm. to the Jewish Messiah. <laughs> right. Like that is a radical yeah. transformation. It's good. Radical transformation. Yeah. I think that's I think that's the word that keeps coming mm -hmm. to my mind is that what we're seeing in in this storyline mm -hmm. and what we see in the gospels is someone that's been transformed. That's good. Someone that's that's coming out of darkness and into his marvelous light, mm -hmm. like Colossians says. It's like this is mm -hmm. the this is the story of the gospel of right. a transformed life, and I think mm -hmm. that's what makes us so excited when we right. see little like stories like this. It's the radical transformation. Mm -hmm. It's just man, it's powerful. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And he's giving his allegiance yeah. to Yeshua. Yeah, right. But he's saying, "You're my yeah. Lord. Mm -hmm. You're my master." And you know, allegiance is connected in with this word faith. Yep. You know, some people like to translate uh -huh. the Greek word pistis. Uh, that's usually translated as faith, right? Into allegiance. Mm -hmm. It's just like, all right, mm -hmm. instead of hail Caesar, it's right. hail Yeshua. Ooh, yeah. Go. It has been done for you according to your belief. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You have brightened my day to encounter this kind of faith. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us to get these videos out to more people. Have you noticed there was a shot? I wish we'd go back. It's Peter standing next to Yeshua, yeah. and Yeshua's is a little kind of loose fitting. Uh -huh. Yeah, Peter's is not. Yeah. Do you think he does push-ups before each scene? Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Okay, okay, let's go.